Have you ever wondered what it's like to visit the world's largest art museum? Welcome to the Louvre Museum, an epitome of art and history nestled in the heart of Paris, France. Rich with over 800 years of history, the Louvre started as a fortress in the late 12th century, transformed into a royal palace in the 16th century, and finally became a museum during the French Revolution in the late 18th century. Boasting a collection of over 35,000 art pieces spread across a staggering 600,000 square meters, the Louvre is a testament to human creativity and ingenuity. Its vast collection ranges from prehistoric artifacts to pieces of modern art, each carrying a unique story and significance. Here, you'll find the works of great masters, timeless sculptures, and ancient artifacts that have shaped our understanding of the past. Now, are you ready to explore this artistic wonderland? As you approach the museum, the first thing you'll notice are the iconic glass pyramids. These pyramids, a modern marvel in themselves, are the work of the renowned architect I. M. Pei. They stand as a testament to the blend of heritage and innovation, creating a striking contrast with the traditional palace architecture of the Louvre. The pyramids were not without controversy, however. Upon their construction in the late 20th century, they sparked a wave of debate. Critics argued that the modern design clashed with the classic French Renaissance style of the Louvre. Yet over time, these pyramids have become an integral part of the Parisian landscape, admired for their daring design and the way they playfully refract light. They symbolize the Louvre's commitment to the old and the new, the classic and the contemporary. It's just the beginning of our journey, and there's much more to discover inside. Stepping into the Din and Wing, you will be greeted by the most famous smile in art history. Yes, you guessed it right. It's none other than the Mona Lisa, the star of the Italian Renaissance, which has been mesmerizing the world since the early 16th century. Painted by Leonardo da Vinci, this iconic portrait is famous for its subject's elusive smile and her unproven identity. Some believe she is Lisa Gherardini, a woman of ordinary means in Florence, while others suggest she might be a noblewoman or even da Vinci's mother. This enigmatic woman, with her subtle smile and captivating gaze, has become a symbol of mystery for art lovers around the globe. But the Mona Lisa isn't just about the mystery, it's also a testament to da Vinci's groundbreaking techniques. The sfumato technique, for instance, where da Vinci masterfully blends colors and tones, creates the soft transitions between colors and shapes that give the Mona Lisa her lifelike quality. And while the Mona Lisa may be the most famous, it's not the only masterpiece from the Italian Renaissance that calls the Louvre home. Take a leisurely stroll around the Dinon Wing, and you'll encounter other notable works such as Veronese's The Wedding Feast at Cana and Titian's The Pastoral Concert. These paintings, along with others, represent a time when art was undergoing a profound transformation. Artists were beginning to use perspective in their work, creating a sense of depth and realism that was revolutionary for the time. Another gem from the Italian Renaissance collection is the statue of the dying slave by Michelangelo. This sculpture is a poignant symbol of human struggle and an example of the artist's exceptional ability to convey emotion through marble. So, while the Mona Lisa will always be a highlight, don't rush. Take your time and let the other masterpieces of the Italian Renaissance take your breath away. Each holds its own secrets, stories, and magic, waiting to be discovered. Remember, Mona Lisa's enigmatic smile is not the only secret the Louvre holds. Moving on, we delve into the ancient world of pharaohs and pyramids. The Louvre hosts an incredible collection of Egyptian antiquities, an enchanting journey through time that spans over 4,000 years. From the dawn of the Old Kingdom to the time of the Roman Empire, each artifact tells a unique story of an ancient civilization that continues to captivate us. Perhaps one of the most famous pieces is the Seated Scribe, a painted limestone statue that dates back to the 4th or 5th dynasty. Its lifelike gaze and intricate detailing are truly mesmerizing. Not to be missed is the Sphinx of Tanis, a grand testament to the power and mystery of the ancient Egyptians. This colossal sphinx with its human head and lion body is one of the largest sphinxes outside of Egypt. This vast collection evokes a sense of awe and wonder, a testament to the ancient Egyptians' remarkable civilization. As we leave the land of the pharaohs, let's journey to the final stop of our tour. Welcome to the lavish world of Napoleon Bonaparte. As we step into Napoleon's apartments, we are immediately enveloped in an era of grandeur and opulence. 
This suite of rooms was once the private domain of Napoleon III, who reigned as the last monarch of France from 1852 to 1870. His living quarters, which have been meticulously preserved, provide us with a glimpse into the extravagant lifestyle of French royalty. The apartments are a spectacle of gilded moldings, sumptuous fabrics, and intricately carved furniture. Swaths of velvet and silk drape the walls, and chandeliers dripping with crystal hang from the high ceilings. Standing in these rooms, one can almost hear the rustle of silk gowns and the murmur of courtly conversations. But the splendor doesn't stop at Napoleon's apartments. The Louvre also houses an extensive collection of French decorative arts that spans several centuries. This collection includes everything from royal tapestries and ornate clocks to porcelain vases and silverware, each piece a testament to the skill and artistry of French craftsmen. Among the highlights of this collection are the crown jewels of France. These dazzling pieces, once worn by French royalty, are a feast for the eyes. They include glittering tiaras, necklaces, and brooches, adorned with some of the world's most precious gems. Each piece tells a story of power, prestige, and the unabashed indulgence of the French court. As we marvel at these treasures, we are reminded of the rich history and cultural significance of France. These artifacts are not just beautiful to look at. They are tangible links to the past, providing us with insights into the lives of those who came before us. And with that, our tour of the Louvre comes to an end. But remember, this is just a fraction of what this magnificent museum has to offer.